is still at large. I've been cursed with a succession of incompetent commandantes. What I need is a strong and able man to whip this Pueblo into shape. Magistrado, that is why I am here. It will not be easy. There is not a great deal of money among the peons. We must find out who has it and then devise a scheme to get it away from them. I have always managed to do this before and never found it difficult. I am afraid you will find there are certain problems here that are peculiar to Los Angeles. I have no desire to remain in your charming Pueblo for any length of time. And the longer I'm here, the more chance there is someone will recognize me. May I suggest, as soon as I am settled in my quarters, we start making definite plans? Sergeant Garcia will show you to your quarters. Unfortunately, I will be busy this evening. But perhaps we can get together the first thing in the morning. Wonderful reception, Rosarita. Well, I'm so glad you came, Diego. And to think, all of this might have gone on without me, had it not been for our chance meeting in the plaza this morning. If we had not chanced to meet in the plaza, we would have chanced to meet elsewhere. Ever since I left Monterey, I've been looking forward to seeing you again. Ah, it is wonderful to be young again, is it not? <laughs> Especially on nights that are made for romance. Are there uh, other kind of nights, Father? <laughs> I'm sure you have other things to talk about and do not welcome the intrusion of an old man. My apologies, senorita. You know, I uh, could establish myself as a most unwelcome guest if I completely monopolized you, but uh, do you mind? No, not at all, but it is such a warm evening. I think I would like something to quench my thirst. Allow me. Why are neither of you dancing? It was good of your uncle to invite us, senorita. But uh, we do not belong with people like these. It is nice just to sit here and listen to the music. You are my uncle's guests in my uncle's home. If he did not want you, he wouldn't have invited you. And since you are here, he would want you to enjoy his complete hospitality. Oh, but we are enjoying it, senorita. I have been looking for you, senorita. May I have the honor of these dance? Well, I'm so sorry, Don Carlos, but here's Diego with the refreshments I asked him to bring. My apologies, senor. Would you care to join us, Don Carlos? I'm sure you remember Franco Barbarossa and his daughter, Eugenia. Unfortunately, my work keeps me involved with all classes of people. I prefer to keep my social life more restricted. You will excuse us, senorita? I think we will go get some refreshments also. It is a great thing to be of proud birth, is it not, senor? It is a noble thing, Diego. One should not forget it. Oh, I agree with you most heartily. The only trouble is, uh, all the credit goes to our ancestors. I think real pride belongs to people who, who can make something of themselves. <laughs> is this what you learn from reading books, Diego? Also from observing people. Take a man like Franco Barbarossa. He started with almost nothing, just a little mud hut on some public land. He started as nothing, and so far as I'm concerned, he will always be nothing. Just the same, he now owns a splendid herd of cattle and he's built a fine home for his family. You may not believe this, Don Carlos, but in the last year, Franco Barbarossa has sold almost as many hides as my father. Look across the dance floor. You may find many people who boast of nobler blood, but you will find no one who has gone out and acquired more by his own honest efforts. This I did not know. Do you or do you not understand? I do not understand. It has always been told to us that we could live on the king's land, that we could improve it, and someday it would belong to us. This has all been changed. But why should I be arrested? I didn't do anything wrong. I understand you started with nothing. A mud hut on the king's land, so that everything you have acquired really belongs to the king. Now all we ask is 5,000 pesos. This is not fair, and I will never pay it. You will pay it, or you will soon wish you had. Well? I sentence you to six months at hard labor. Take him away. A beautiful woman coming here. Well, show her in. I'm so glad 
glad you're home. No, it's not oh, You must come with me immediately. Why? What's wrong? I've just been to the Pueblo and they've arrested Franco Barbarossa. Arrested him? Why? What did he do? He's done nothing wrong. It's some ridiculous charge of poaching on the king's land. Now, just a minute, Rosalita. We don't I... have time to talk about it. Come, my carriage is at the door. Later. You must do something immediately. This may be difficult. The Maestrado is a hard man to convince. I shall have a talk with him. Perhaps he will listen to reason. The man in question was found guilty of trespassing, and he refused to pay his fine. So consequently, I was forced to sentence him to six months of hard labor. No matter what his crime was, he should not be whipped and treated like an animal. Senorita Cortez. A young lady of your position should not interest herself in such things. Oh, I realize that the punishment of criminals sometimes seems harsh, but how else can we protect society from the thieves and murderers who prey on us? I'm begging your pardon, senor, but Franco Barbarossa's crime is not one of thievery or murder. As a matter of fact, I fail to comprehend that he has committed any crime at all. Oh, Don Diego, you know my business better than I, huh? You have changed from reading poetry to books of law, huh? Every ranchero in California has for years lived on land that belongs to the king. If Franco Barbarossa is guilty of poaching, at least a hundred other rancheros are equally guilty. Exactly. And they're being arrested and brought to trial as rapidly as we can round them up. Does our new comandante agree with this treatment of our rancheros? The new comandante is here to bring law and order to Los Angeles. Whose law? And I would suggest, Don Diego, that you refrain from interfering with the administration of justice in this pueblo. Rosarita, I guess there's not much more we can do. Is that the best you can do? Perhaps if I wrote a letter to the governor, he might... Write a letter? If I were a man, I would do something about this. And it wouldn't be writing a letter. Rosarita... I know how you must feel, and... What happened to you, Diego? When you were a boy, you wouldn't have stood by idly while a man was tortured. You're not half the man you were when you were only ten years old. 